What's up guys, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video for you on hosting your own Minecraft servers. So of course in a previous video of mine I showed you how to set up a 1.16 snapshot server, however this error can pop up anywhere down the line in past or future versions. So after we set up our run.bat with a simple command over here, java xmx xms jar server jar name no gy, after you have this all set up inside of your run.bat, say you have it as so, and you run it, you might just get a little black box that pops up on your screen and then vanishes immediately. What we need to do is edit the dot .bat and make sure that the last line is written as pause. Save it and open it yet again, and this time before closing right after an error, it'll stay open and allow us to read exactly what's going on. So, Java is not recognized as an internal or external command. What exactly does this mean? Well, it simply means that Windows cannot find a proper installation of Java, and if there is one, it may be corrupted or forgotten where it is. The simplest way to solve this is to go ahead and download Java and reinstall it if it's already installed. So if you end up Googling for Java instead of clicking the link down in the description below, make sure to go ahead and click all Java downloads in the top left instead of hitting the Java download button on this page. This page over here will be linked down in the description below where you have these versions over here. Windows Online, Offline and Offline 64-bit. What exactly do we need to do here? Well, we need to go ahead and download the Windows 64-bit version if you're using a 64-bit version of Windows. Please note that if you download the Windows Offline version instead, the 32-bit one, you'll be limited to 4 gigabytes or less RAM for your server. So that means check your XMX, and if it's set to anything above 4G, then you are going to run out of RAM for the program. Of course, that's provided that you are actually running a 64-bit PC, and probably the easiest way to check is inside of your task manager under performance, memory if you have more than 4 gigabytes of RAM available or in your PC at all, then you are definitely running a 64-bit PC. Of course, you can also check by pressing start and just typing in 64. Then you'll see, see if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit Windows version. And when the window pops up, you'll see down here, system type 64-bit. Cool. So we can go ahead and click download next to Windows Offline 64-bit, which is the preferred version here. I've heard from some people that downloading and installing both of these will allow for more compatibility. So sometimes I'll go ahead and do that, but usually I'll only need to download and install the 64-bit version. Before hitting run after downloading it, I'm going to go ahead and open up my control panel by hitting start and typing in uninstall. Then I'll go ahead and look under recent and see if uninstall a program is there under this control panel app. However, if it's not, you can go ahead and search for control panel and click over here. Opening it up, we'll head across to uninstall a program. Now inside of here, we're going to make sure that Java is not installed. Of course, if you scroll down and find Java on the list somewhere, simply double click on the entry and it will ask you if you're sure that you want to uninstall. Go ahead and uninstall both Java and Java 64-bit if you have them installed. After uninstalling Java, you can go ahead and hit run. Of course, if you don't have Java installed in the first place, you can of course hit run straight away. Hit yes when prompted for admin, then it will go ahead and hit install and we'll wait for this to run through. Once it's done, you can hit close and you should be able to go ahead and open up the server.bat once again. This time after double clicking on run.bat, there is no error message on the screen and after a short while, our Minecraft server starts. Of course, I'm not actually going to run it, but that is how you fix it. As you can also see, the .jar file over here, server.jar, now has a little Java icon next to it. If we go to view, file name extensions, you can see that it is actually a .jar file, which is a Java file. So if you get to this point where you've uninstalled and reinstalled Java, but you're still getting the issue, then there might be something more serious afoot. This is a bit of a workaround and may or may not work for you. However, this is something that should have been set by the installer. Had something gone wrong, this is probably the easiest way to fix it. So we'll hit start and type in path, P-A-T-H. Then we'll hit edit the system environment variables and we'll hit environment variables in the bottom right. So if you're not familiar with this screen, basically any folder that's on this list will be accessible when we open up a command prompt and we type in a name of a program inside of one of the folders that's listed over here. So under system variables, if we look for path, we click on it and click edit, we'll see this window over here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look for the Java install directory, which is as such. 
If I open up Windows Explorer, this PC, see Program Files 86, Common Files, Oracle, Java, Jar Path, we can see that there is java.exe, Java W, and Java WS. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this URL at the very top, minimize that of this window, and have a look inside of our path environment variable. We're going to make sure that this is on the list somewhere. And if it's not, say it looks like this, what we'll need to do is simply hit new and paste in this URL we had earlier. After hitting OK and OK once again, OK, we can head back to our Minecraft server and double click run.bat. From this point, it should be working. However, if you're still having issues, there is another video linked down in the description below to try and fix program associations with .jar files, which may be another troubleshooting step for you. If you're still having issues, make sure to leave a comment down below and hopefully you guys will be able to help each other. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name has been Technoba here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.